This company stole our products and has been illegally selling them for years now. driving down to my studio right now, One Take Studios, because we're getting ready to completely demolish the selfie rooms and build two brand new sets, a hospital waiting room and a hospital like operation room or doctor's office. So kind of like doctor's office, waiting room, hospital room, waiting room, all, all of that jazz. Anyways, putting them kind of side by side, taking out the selfie sets. So meeting my business partner, Ryan down there, and our, our handyman, construction man, Dan, to uh, just kind of walk through what needs to get done. I picked up the carpet yesterday. This looks very, very jank, but just uh, went to Carpet Depot. This is like the spot where I get carpet for all the different sets, uh, at least here in Phoenix anyways. Putting a new set out at one take, just kind of planned it out, mapped it out. Needed some carpet, came down here, bought the carpet, and it's a very long piece, six way out and luckily i had a couple random ratchet straps back here and yeah we'll see if this makes it back to the studio so away we go and cash is with me i'm on solo dad duty today it's the weekend cash you're okay bud we're almost there and yeah that's kind of what's going on today and then next week it's go time so this this one's easy we got to, we already have them. We're just going to... What do you think, Josh? What do you think? What do you think of all this chaos, huh? What do you think? It's going to open up, and that's going to open up. Two rooms. Two rooms, side by side. Yep. And then basically what we need to do is in this one right here, we need to cut... A door in the middle. So like... Walk through. In the middle panel? Yep. So two rooms. Right there. That's this wall right there. So... This wall is that wall. Oh, and then, this wall is going to go to? It's going to go to 12. You're going to put it over here. Yep. So I'm headed to the airport right now. I am flying into LA this morning to go see a potential house. The other house fell through. We did not uh, get it. Uh, our offer was not accepted. The agent said they went with a much substantially higher offer, which is crazy because we offered like $150,000 over asking but headed to LA I think this might be the house this might be the one uh so going to see the house because they will not accept our offer unless we've personally got eyes on the property so I'm flying in gonna see the property at noon fly back uh, our offer has already been made it's a good offer and yeah we just need to get eyes on it one to just confirm for ourselves cool this is it this is the spot for sure and uh, also so they can officially accept our offer because they will not accept it unless we've seen it. So, headed to LA. Yo, what's up, champ? Yeah, I got you uh, Pasadena's finest. Ooh, don't I, don't know, I know you're on an insurance, but I also got you a, a okay. bacon scone, so. Yeah, yeah. My LA Uber, my LA Burbank Uber. What's Every, good? That's, that's yeah, it's been a little up. slow lately, so I've been just you know door dashing, <laughs> picking up people with beards, you know, giving them coffee. Yeah. It's a nice perk. It's a nice perk. Five stars, dude. Better tip. There it is. Look at this school, parking lot. Oh, it's look at the house. Wow, love that. I mean, look that. at this big curb for a grip truck too. Oh, I know. It's great. Let's do a little lap and see that neighborhood. So pulling up to the house right now. Got a private showing at 12 o'clock. It's looking good though. There's a school across the street. Like I said, dentist, uh, office parking lot. I think like one technically neighbor next door, which in this neighborhood, Northridge, it's really not that big of an issue. So it's looking good so far. Lots of street parking, which is, which is great. Yeah, let's see, is this like a dead end? Yeah. Yeah, not a through street dead end. Nice. You know what's Rolling crazy, bro? Balls. Jordan shot here. No, really? Dead ass. 
For what? What you shoot? Let me see if I can find it on her page. Right here. There it is. It's over there. It's really nondescript in the front too. Like can't even tell where the front door is. is it yeah. This way, you know. It's from the Good outdoor space. Is someone here or they just have it open? Yeah, I saw uh, a lady pull up. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, how are you? It feels like a motel. Like, it does. Hey, so <laughs> it does kind of feel like a little motel. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
thing. It's like you wouldn't want your little boy fucking. <laughs> this hallway looks cool too. I'm looking at that one. This is nice. This little room. Door to the outside. Got a view from everything. It's nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, like you could really make this. I can Office. see camera, DIT. Oh, DIT. Yeah. You know, like that way. This footprint of all, I mean, you've been on those big jobs where there's so many carts and gears. Yeah. Like, where, like, keeping that out of the house is going to preserve all the concrete. The yeah. The second people are loading those big carts and scraping the walls. And yeah, yeah. Fucks everything out. Yeah, yeah. You want to so, get all that shit out of there. Yeah. Because the pool's elevated and it's, like, behind a gate and there's, like, all that the greenery around it it the like, view that you get from there is a lot better is oh, that what you you're get saying a view. well i was gonna oh. say it's kind of removed and this is more from an entertainment standpoint it's removed from the rest of the house yeah yeah but it's cool because it creates its own little moment yeah so the pool is like almost a separate thing i was gonna say too just view wise like shot wise like you're not looking because it's elevated kind of above the house and you have like the greenery around it you're not looking just directly into the, the house. house you kind of have your okay. elevated to where you kind of have like a cool yeah, viewpoint where you're not like, oh, we're like in someone's backyard. Yeah. It has its almost like a, mo like a, a Palm, Palm Springs, Springs motel pool. vibe. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It does feel like a motel yeah. kind of, yeah. That's uh, a good point. They've already like done- Well, no, they, here's they, like they the giant them. list of like all the upgrades and improvements. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's the one I was- Look at that. I went to go get you and then I don't know what happened. Look at all that stuff they <laughs> fixed. Like, we got distracted. <laughs> yeah. The other one we saw at Sunland- Can I see? Because I didn't yeah, look at The other one we saw at Sunland, like- my big worry was like we get in there and there's just gonna be all types of shit issues. No, I knew that was gonna be the case. Issues. Dude, this oh, is this is this they is our canvas right here. Yeah, new roof and they're solar. Yeah, they're paying the solar off through escrow too. So you're getting the full solar system. It's like adds fifty grand to the value. Yeah. When you get Bro, an appraisal, is, it adds like this 50, thing. Thousand. It's already vetted. Then I we need say, to lock it in. Touchdown. Back in Phoenix. It's five p.m. I think that's it. I like everything about me to my core when I'm walking the property tells me that's the one. I've seen so many homes over the last few years trying to find the right one. This in every facet and capacity felt like the one. We made an offer, uh, should hear back. Hopefully by tonight, if not tomorrow, if, if we got it. So I'm at the Prison Lens Effects Warehouse right now. We've got a bunch of new kind of products, prototypes, and different things that are coming out very soon. And so I'm here today, got to make some social real content surrounding the uh, couple of the new products and just cool little things that we have coming out soon. So yeah, we had this mural painted by a local artist. Uh, it's kind of like a little little content corner here at the the warehouse. Honestly, need to get like a better table set up in here, but this is just temporary until we can uh, figure that out. So, time to make some content. It's a really nice day out, so decided to come outside to the backyard, do a little backyard workout, get some sun. I'm looking a little pasty, so just doing some basically body weight, calisthenics, abs, push ups, a little stretching, just a little light outdoor weekend workout, get the blood flowing. So if you follow myself or my company Tropicolor on Instagram, then you're probably aware of this company that um, had stolen and was illegally selling uh, some of our products over on their website and in their master bundle. Recently, I got a DM from one of you guys who's a follower of mine saying, hey, you know, uh, someone at my company wanted to buy Blind, Blind Dust Master Bundle. Uh, we bought the bundle and I noticed you guys like LUTs and a bunch of your products were on the bundle. And he sent me a screenshot and it is our products word for word. Didn't even change the name still has the TC even in front of the name of our product. So just lazy, unethical, illegal, 
Um, and yeah, they've been apparently selling, you know, our products for, for years now. And I would imagine probably many other companies as well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if their entire online store is just stolen products, to be honest. And so we took to Instagram and, um, you guys came to uh, our support and defense. And as of this moment, they've just been deflecting, de deflecting and saying they're going to make it right, but they've done nothing to make it right thus far. So I want you guys to continue to apply the pressure because as you guys know, creators and business owners, like, you know, we work hard for the things and, uh, that we, that we bait, build and, and make. And, um, that is completely unethical. It's completely illegal and not okay whatsoever. And so we cannot let them get away with it. If we've emailed them, we've got in touch with them. And if they do not make it right and meet, you know, basically the demands of how we feel they should make it right, then we will have to take further legal action. We don't want to have to do that. And ultimately it's going to hurt them more in the long run, but yeah, that's where uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that because it's yeah. But anyways, Blind Dusk, go report them um, if if you want to support us and, and, and our company. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep you guys updated as everything unfolds. Appreciate y'all. And lastly, before I go and end this vlog, I was just recently invited onto the 505 podcast where honestly probably had one of my favorite interviews to date. Uh, really good questions, really good just just discussion in general. Uh, I highly recommend you go check it out. I'll link the interview uh, in the description below, but you can also just go to the 505 podcast on YouTube and watch the full interview. I think it's like an hour and 45 minutes, uh, but really great topics covered and I had a great conversation. I love what they're doing and they drove all the way from LA in the morning to meet me at my studio here in Arizona to interview me. Then they packed everything up and drove back to LA. That's the type of work ethic that's gonna take you far. And so, yeah, just go check it out, show them some love, and uh, would love to hear your guys' thoughts on the interview. Peace. Jacob Owens, dude. This guy's a serial entrepreneur, man. Yeah. He he has multiple million dollar businesses. Nicest guy. He brought us into his studio in Arizona. I, I learned a ton. I felt like I was in a business masterclass for the, the entirety of the, of the podcast. Well, what I love about him is that he has these large businesses, but he doesn't want to take them like too big because he still wants to be involved. And on top of that, like he's really created financial freedom, which has led him to take back his time. And he, like when we hit him up to do the pod, he was like, I can do it whenever. Like I'm on my, I'm my own boss, which is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. I feel like that is the, the true level of success was he totally. was, when we were on that or when we were texting him, he's like, Oh, you say the day yeah. I'll clear my schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, damn, 